create your own Twitter analytics dashboard in Power BI, first step is you need to go to this site analytics.twitter.com. From there, we will be able to go to your tweets and export some data so we can work on it through Power BI. So here you have two options, either you export the data by tweet or by day. So here I choose by tweet. So now let us open the Power BI file so we can start import our data and work on some visualization. Before importing the data, I will do a step here, which is I would like to add a background to my file. So it's up to you if you want to add a background. I already designed here one background with the Twitter icons and I save it on my desktop, then double click on it. And if you need to change the size of your page or something, you can do it easily from page background and page size. So let us now import our data. Our data here is CSV file. So easily just double click on it after you select import data or get data and it will connect to your Power BI. So you can look at it, see if you want to do any change, anything before you load it to your Power BI. So for me, it seems everything fine. I just need to press on load. So now we have all the columns that we have it in our CSV file already loaded here. It seems, let us look at it, it seems there is no calculation or there is no column to calculate the time weekday. So we want to see like uh, the, the weekday or the time of uh, impressions or likes per weekday. So we can create our calculated column, we can call it time weekday and you can type this formula and we will use uh, from the columns that already we have it there is a column we call it time and you can type this tax function After we type the DAX function for the time weekday calculation or calculated column, now I can start build my visualization. So it depends on what you want to see within your uh, Power BI. So here I would like to see the impressions per or by week. So I will use two columns. The first one, the calculated column, which is time weekday and the impressions. So as simple as here, we will be able to see the impressions by week. You can change the title, you can change the design, everything you can do it by using the format tab. And what I will do here, I will change the title. Then maybe I will change the background. And also, uh, you know, the visual tab here, if you want to export it to Excel, you can turn it on. And I will change here the, I will put the, the border and also you can change whatever you want. So now I would like to add some cards to my Power BI file to calculate, for example, how many replies I'm getting, how many likes, how many impressions, it depends on what kind of data we have. So I will start by adding a card to see how many replies I'm getting on my Power BI for last 28 days. It depends on the data that you exported from analytics to Twitter side. And here um, I will change some format and some uh, style of uh, this card. I will change the background and the size of uh, my card. Now I will copy and paste the same card and to make it much easier for me to start uh, from scratch and just to change the value of the card from here. And I will select for example here retweets and the number will be changed or you have another option by doing click on the visual and press on the format and 
which is I will do it for you next uh, video so let's us focus here I will copy and paste the same card again and the change here I will select the URL clicks so how many people they are clicking on my on my links that I posted on Twitter and so on for all the other things that I would like to see it on my dashboard for example here I would like to add the, the user profile clicks even and similar way copy paste let me make some space i would like to add more cards to my power pi and to change the value i would like to see for example let us look likes how many people they are giving me likes uh, during 28 days and oh it's um, it seems good 300 something yeah let us copy and put hashtag clicks and copy paste again and see so it depends on whatever you want to see uh, the most important things within this video how we can connect or how we can get some data from a twitter and build our own dashboard to see our progress on the uh, on the twitter or your personal twitter so if you want to add more visualization more calculation it depends on what you want to see in your power bi so you can do it easily so this is what i have for you today so thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and like if you want me to share with you more videos thank you